Today, making hot lava. Today, we're making hot lava. So, we went to Target, of course, and picked up National Geographic Build Your Own Volcano. How fun is this gonna be? Huh? Yeah. All right, this is a really good educational toy because we can learn about hot lava and what that looks like and how mountains create that. But also, the really cool thing is there's even surprises inside. I mean, come on. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss a second of the Lively Lewis's. Right here. Yeah. All the way up. Oh, good job. All right, let's see what's inside. Oh. We've got instructions. We've got eruption powder. We've got paint. We've got some cool rocks in there. We've got a tongue depressor. Assuming we're gonna use this differently this time though. We've got a little tiny cup. And we've got volcano plaster. What? Oh, hi. We were just reading the very important instructions. So to get started, what we gotta do is get five and a half ounces of water. Cold, specifically cold water in a container that you don't mind getting pretty gross. So we got five and a half ounces, right? Yeah. All right. What should we put in there? Like that. That's right. We're gonna put in one and a half cup of the plaster. All right. So we've got our measuring cup and we've got our powder. So mommy's gonna open it and pour one cup into there and then we're gonna slowly add it to the water. Can you help me pour it in? Yeah. Okay, watch your fingers. Can you shake that for me so that it gets all nice and even? Good job. You're a good helper. Let me put a pet that hole a little bit. Here. That hot lava right there, not quite yet. Getting close though. A paint for. Alright. Do that. And yep, yeah, go ahead. Good. Start mixing. Oh, that was, there we go. Ooh, look at it. Hot lava? <laughs> Not quite hot lava. Right now we're making the volcano mold. Okay, so we had to add about another half cup of plaster just to get this thicker. It says, make sure it's thick, but still pourable. So it looks like we're kind of at that, at that consistency now. Now, important to read directions because we took a look at the directions and the directions said that it's gonna take about one to two days for this mold to set up and to be able to paint it into our awesome volcano. So just be prepared that it's not gonna be a one day quick activity. All right, the next thing we have to do is we gotta put the mold together, right Levi? Yeah. Okay, so we gotta connect them just like a puzzle. We put this together and then you've got the little tiny bottom we're gonna put it on here just in case it spills out, so we'll see how this goes. Now we're gonna put that on top. Next, we're gonna pour our plaster into the mold. Do you wanna do it? Yeah. Okay. Come on, open closer. Right in here. All right, so we finished pouring everything in the mold. Made a big mess, so it's a good thing to do this outside. And now we gotta wait for about 30 to 45 minutes. Now we're ready to take the plastic off of the plaster volcano so we can see if it worked. You wanna join us? Yeah. All right. Time, friends. All right, you ready? Yeah. Get that extra stuff off the sides. It's got a little hole on the top. All right, so after you've allowed your volcano to either sit for one to two days and completely dry out, or you can put it in the oven at 200 degrees for one to two hours, and that will make it nice and hard and ready for you to paint it. Hi, everyone. All right, we're back. Levi has
has painted and let dry his beautiful volcano. I also got this set up and this is the citric acid mixed with the eruption powder. Sounds pretty fun, huh buddy? So what we're gonna do, make sure that's nice and mixed up and Levi's gonna take a scoop out and put the scoop into the volcano. Mm -hmm. Get it all full, one big scoop. Good, yep. It's about one tablespoon. That's perfect. All right, now, okay, you wanna do that little bit left? All right, are we ready to see what's gonna happen? Yeah. All right, you wanna use that and get some water out and put the water in there? That was so fun. It was such a great time to get to do this awesome National Geographic Build Your Own Volcano and it even erupts. So don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to keep seeing the adventures and all the fun stuff that we're up to.